epidendrum centripetalum is an orchid species identified in 1852 origin native to nicaragua costa rica and panama light never situate your orchid in excessive sunlight due to the heightened chance of dehydration and sun scores in the wild they are protected by the trees canopy and therefore are acceptable to the harsh rays like to grow in wet lower montane evergreen to semi deciduous forest from elevation of 12 to 1500 meters in full to partial sun A small to medium sized cool growing orchid with delicate stems that can produce plantlets all along up and down with linear lanceolate shiny leaves that has a wet dry growing pattern that require high humidity and water throughout the year but less when mature and will bloom on a terminal its bloom in the late winter spring and early summer it can be easily found in fruit trees near habitation be sure to provide a bright location with little to no direct sunlight temperature 12 degrees celsius to 27 degrees celsius can be grown outdoors during the summer in a sheltered location with temperatures above 13 degrees celsius but it's fine to remain indoors too spread up to 0 0.6 meter in height and 0 0.3 meter in wide with the maturity being achieved in around five to eight years remove yellow or dying leaves and plant debris to encourage better growing condition flowers can last up to two months and can bloom at any time most commonly between the period of winter to spring each spike can reach up to 30 cm in height with around 10 flowers per bunch. Infrequent reports will restrict its growth for a potential bloom. They will be under threat by the challenging environment and as they will potentially die. A flower shaft will be produced to pass on its chains to the next generation report every three years not during the flowering process in spring using orchid bark and the next size pot not known to be poisonous by consumption of pets and humans if high quantities are eaten it may result in vomiting and maybe loss of appetite thank you everybody